So about a month or two ago, I showed you guys this amazing Zigbee curtain motor, which does all this amazing Zigbee curtain motoring. Look, it's totally moving the curtains all by itself. Magic. Uh, so Zigbee works with like Philips Hue and Samsung Smart Things and any Zigbee enabled thing that can control Zigbee 3.0 devices. Then about a month later, this thing arrived. And then a couple of days later, this thing arrived. I have the trifecta! Uh, one of them is Zigbee, which is the one that's currently connected. Uh, one of them is Z-Wave, if you're into the whole Z-Wave thing. Uh, and this one is Wi-Fi. Uh, these things have little dongles hanging off them. Uh, and these dongles act in place of the switch which controls this Zigbee uh, motor. So this Zigbee motor connects to your Zigbee gateway or your hub via its switch. These things don't need them. So this is the first curtain motor that I was sent, and basically, all of the magic lives in the switch. And the problem that that poses is, well, you have to wire in a switch, and people don't like doing that. It's, uh, cabled up. Now what? What am I gonna do? You wanna go in a wall? How do I make it go in wall? Uh, basically, humans are big babies, myself included, and we would much prefer to not have to mess around with electricity. So Zemi Smart produced two new motors. The first one is a Z-Wave motor, uh, and it has a cable that just plugs straight into your mains. No messing around. Uh, the second one is a Wi-Fi switch, and it works in exactly the same way, but uses Wi-Fi. What's the difference between Z-Wave and Wi-Fi and Zigbee? Let this guy explain. If you're as old as me, you will remember the VHS versus Betamax war of the 80s. This war occurred because two companies both decided they wanted to put tiny little cassettes in your house so you could watch movies. Uh, Betamax ultimately lost this battle because one, it was more expensive, uh, and two, VHS could record for longer. That was it. Betamax actually was better than VHS for quality, but it lost because people really like money. Uh, why am I telling you any of this? The reason is because Zigbee and Z-Wave are just like Betamax and VHS. Uh, they are two companies trying to get smart home equipment into your house, uh, and they're just wireless signals. So like you have your Wi-Fi between your mobile phone and your router, uh, they provide a wireless connection between a light switch and their hub, and then a bulb. That's it. So if there are three different ways of controlling these curtains, Zigbee, Z-Wave, and Wi-Fi, which one should you buy? Don't ask me. Ask one of the know-it-all jerks in my comments section that tell me I don't know what I'm talking about week after week. They probably have all of the answers. I, I personally really like the Wi-Fi solutions because there's no hub involved, it's really easy to use, uh, and the Toya Smart Life service that it runs on is just brilliant. It really depends on you. If you're starting out with this stuff, I really like Wi-Fi. I find it much, much easier to get your head around. Uh, I find the app very straightforward. Its only real drawback is that uh, it is reliant on a server on the internet. So if your internet is down, it doesn't work. Uh, Zigbee and Z-Wave, basically the same thing, uh, but local. So if you want to control everything in your house and not have to rely on a server in China to get things to operate, you want to get Zigbee or Z-Wave, but of course you will need a Zigbee or Z-Wave hub such as Samsung SmartThings. Hopefully that answers your questions. But if not, there's an idiot in my comments section that'll answer it for you. If you're already confused by all of this, I'm going to confuse you further. Uh, this is a RF remote that comes with it, and it uses a different protocol again. So it isn't Zigbee, Z-Wave, or Wi-Fi. This thing controls the curtain using a frequency called RF, radio frequency. Uh, basically, the thing has two receivers in it, uh, a Zigbee receiver and an RF receiver. So this RF remote will control the curtain in exactly the same way. Why am I telling you about another protocol? The reason is, because this is RF, you could also control these curtains using a Broadlink RM Pro. If you're a big fan of the Broadlink RM Pro because it fires RF frequencies and you happen to be a fan of RF frequencies, it will do that too. If you didn't see my previous video where I installed the track and gave a big talk about that whole thing, uh, go watch that now. I'll wait.
I won't really wait, that would be ridiculous. Uh, I am now going to take you through the installation of the Z-Wave motor. All I do is basically take the existing motor out and put the new one in and then plug it into the mains. It's that simple. Uh, first of all, let's see if I can pair the remote without any instructions. Rather typically, I have literally no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm going to press this reset button underneath that thing and then press a button on the remote and then hope that it pairs and then I'll at least have this working before I can get other things working. No. <laughs> I got it. It's inside the remote. There's a little button here. You press the button on that, press the button on that. Remote works. <laughs> I figured out the Z-Wave. So this thing is, uh, this is the Z-Wave dongle. Um, and all you do is you press this little reset button in three times whilst your Z-Wave device is searching for it, whether that be Samsung Smart Things or, in my case, Homey. Uh, and now check it out. There's... There's not really anything more to tell you that I didn't tell you in the last video. Uh, the previous motor that I had was super quiet and absolutely awesome at closing and opening curtains. <laughs> this is exactly the same thing. It is very, very quiet and is super awesome at opening and closing curtains. The only difference between this motor and the one that I reviewed previously is it's modular. So it has a USB port in it. And if I put in the Wi-Fi dongle, it is now a Wi-Fi motor. Obviously. Uh, it also has this little LAN port, and if I plug this Z-Wave receiver into it, it is a Z-Wave motor. Zemi Smart will send you whichever one you ask for. Whether you ask for a Wi-Fi version, you'll get a dongle. If you ask for a Z-Wave version, you'll get a dongle. <laughs> That's it. If you're looking to open and close your curtains using She That Should Not Be Named, or Google Home, or If This Then That, or in fact Samsung Smart Things or some other Z-Wave slash Zigbee type hub, then get these motors, pretty obviously. They only cost this much money, which is like super low for what you're getting. We're talking about curtain track and motor and remote, the whole shebang. Um, they are honestly the best thing I think I've received in the last couple of years. Out of all the things I've been sent for review, these are probably my favourites. Um, and the fact that you can now do it without having to wire in a switch, because I'm a big baby, uh, they are now basically perfect, and I wholeheartedly recommend them to you. Uh, links are in the description if you want to pick these things up from the cool guys at Zemismart. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Come and be my friend at one of these places, uh, where I will tell you about jerks in my comments section and how I reamed them and made them look silly. Uh, if you want to make these videos a possibility, these amazing people here, love them to bits, are my patrons. You can be a patron at either Patreon, uh, or do me a one-off payment at PayPal if you want to buy me a beer, and I'll love you forever. Uh, that's it for this week, I'll see you next time. So, you know how your mobile phone connects to your router via Wi-Fi? Uh, you, 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 <laughs> What? War of the 80s. I spit everywhere, all the time. These things are all completely interchangeable. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is like, this much money? If you're looking to open and close your curtains using, 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 using. Why am I saying wholeheartedly a lot? Wholeheartedly. Hmm. Hmm. My whole heart. <laughs> <laughs>